da 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 Welcome everyone back to another YAI AI live stream. YAI live stream. We are back with another week. Another of week. Cool art. 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 Lots of fun. 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 Learning. 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 Hanging out. Hanging out. Dogs. Oof. Dogs. And the weather. The weather. How's everyone doing today? I'm feeling pretty good. Had a good weekend. Ready to uh, do uh -huh. some more art. Although I kind of have this weird sound stuck in my head that sounds like what? Ra ra la la. Ra ra Rasputin. Dun, 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 dun. La ga ooh, ga ga la la ga ga ga. Oh, Bad romance. Yes. Maybe Radio something along Google. those lines. Radio Gaga. Gaga. Maybe Radio. something anti-establishment feeling, kind of, perhaps? I don't know about that, comrade. Right. Yeah, what are you... Do we need to report you to the thought police? I don't know. Where's this bit what, going? What's the thing <laughs> next week? What's the thing next oh. week? Oh! oh. <laughs> hey, it's, hey me, it's Dada Week. Dada well, Dada anything. Week. Yes, welcome to Dada Week. As you can see in the we top the bottom Maybe corner. We crank it down just a little tiny, tiny bit. That's, what everything That's is right Dada now. for <laughs> you. Okay. So, we are back with another week of Dada. Yep. Another Dada week. Now we've had one in the past? No. You could say that um, everything we do is Dadaism. In the past, oh, okay. you know, we would put our art on the walls of the most prestigious galleries. Yeah, we did that. But you know yep. what? We don't need any galleries anymore. No we don't. Give mm -hmm. me a bathroom stall. No galleries. I have to go to the bathroom. No more. Never oh. again. You know what? We used to paint pictures of beautiful landscapes. Yeah, I remember that. You know what? No more. No more. No more. No more. None of that. You know what? What? We used to what? paint real representations of modern living mm -hmm. to oh. help cope with what was happening around us as a reflection of our daily lives. You know, I'm actually the one who painted American Gothic. But no more. No, no more. more. Because nope. now we are Dada. What does that mean? That means no rules. You know what? Uh, I'm so over this current way of life, which is uh, waking up and... Waking up, punching in. Punching, punching my pillow oh. because to get it nice it's and fluffy. fluffy. Uh -huh. and, then the, and then going back to sleep. And then going back to sleep and eating the same thing every day. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, it's just chaos through the mundane. I'm tired of my cookie cutter life. 
And yeah, I'm gonna break through that mold and now do something different. Whoa! Something different? What <laughs> could that be? Yes, it is da da it's time. It's da da time. Which means there are no more rules. I'm gonna now just make art as a freedom of ex expression without any meaning. So, uh, just as a quick <laughs> overview for any of our viewers that might not be, uh, you know, well versed in their art history. So, Dada is actually a, it's an it's an art movement uh, that was popularized what the turn of the century um, in the late 1920s. Okay, yeah. So basically, it was a rejection of the very traditional art that used to be created, and just embracing making almost like a parody art so just like taking the seriousness out of art and then uh dadaism was revived actually in the 80s and in the 90s uh into neo dadaism which is just this really ex this is huge expression of media and just kind of a collaboration mm -hmm. and again it is just really just not taking art seriously you could even see it as like defacing famous paintings or like, cause that's actually one of the most famous Neo yes. Dada pieces is like someone drew like a, a mustache over the Mona Lisa and it's considered to be this. <laughs> they got him. You know, I mean, Whoa. hey. Who would have ever thought? So we're gonna be exploring um, that artistic movement, both Dada and Neo Dada. And we're gonna be talking about a few of the most influential artists of that period as well. Very cool, very cool. Indeed. So, uh, how are we gonna go about doing that kind of art today? Wonderful question, Mr. Zach. And you know what, I have an answer for you. What is it, Mr. Steven? There is no answer. There is no answer. So let's just oh, jump no. into our answer. Oh, there's no answer, but we're jumping in. And here we go. Hey guys, it's me, Dadaism, uh, here with another Dada. I doubt they can hear anything I'm saying. Over Radio Dada, Radio Goo Goo, <laughs> Radio Gaga. Oh, there we, there, go. there we go. So here we are in our classic Photoshop that we happen to find ourselves in. Now, many many of our viewers at home are probably wondering, and when I say many, and I mean all of them. All of them. Are probably wondering, what do we have in store today? What do we have in store today? Great question. Now, Mr. Zach brought up a good point, right? That it was kind of a rebellion towards the classics, you know, a, a way to fight the establishment mm -hmm. by doing your own thing. Um, so much so that there was this famous artist uh, that took a sculpture of a, to a just a toilet, yeah. turned it sideways, and said, "Now this is my art. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do now?" Da da da. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. So what we will do today? Oh, and y you also brought up the other artist, the Neo Dada that did the scribble on the Mona Lisa. Yes, yeah. I brought that up. You know, he, he did. That's what I said. I was just reiterating that, that I... That uh, Mr. Zach is the one who knows the most about art history here. Yeah, yeah. And Mr. Zach also brought up... I did. How? That is a great starting point for us to create Dada art. Mm -hmm. So what we will do is... Oh, do you want me to do it? Because I, I can go. Also, they oh, can I, see everything now. What we can do is find a piece of classical art... Right, such as the Monet or the 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 Monet, the one that there is. What's that one Monet painting where they're on the park? Uh, isn't it like a day in the park? Are you sure that's Monet? It's one of them, you know. Oh, Sunday afternoon. Here we go. Yes. So is that is that Monet? You know, Monet, Schmonet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right! It's a rejection of classical art. Yes, yes. I have no time for who is who because classic art. Now this like is. Don't no, finish your sentence. Not classic art, 
anymore. Da 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 da. <laughs> I can't do this. Okay, so I have a picture of Monet's uh, chilling in the garden. Yeah, this one is a Sunday afternoon hanging out in the garden. Nope. Bye. Yeah, it's definitely not Monet. Surat. 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 Monet, Surat, you know, <laughs> you get them confused. Part of the so, movement. I'm going to take this walk in the park, and guess what? You know, back in the day, they did, ha- they did not have Photoshop. Did y'all know that? No. They didn't? And I think Mr. Zach would know about this more because he's our local art historian. Yes, that yeah. is I. They actually would have to cut paper out and make photo collages. Uh huh. They would use their Elmer's glue sticks. Yes. And glue it back on. Thankfully, with the wonders of technology, we do not have to use scissors or glue. We can just use the Photoshop. The Photoshop. So I'm gonna go in the here bears. into Photoshop, and I'm gonna make a little combination. Ooh, what are you gonna combine it with? Uh, we're gonna do a classic combo. Um, now, man. <laughs> oh, no. Many people. Is that good? Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Many people wonder. What do they wonder? Is that what they wonder? What? They wonder what could we possibly combine this with? And I say to that. What do you say, man? <laughs> I'm going to take these two images and mix them. That's right. What? A 90s cartoon kids show mixed with Surratt's 1820s painting. Whoa. A little against the grain. Um, that's crazy. If I say so myself. Now that. Oh, that's what you're looking at. It's crazy. I did not. Okay. All right. So what we will do here is kind of, uh, you know, just take some of these photos. And I'm not even going to care. Like, I'm just not even going to care. I'm just gonna take this photo here, and and while I'm working my magic, why don't y'all talk about some of your favorite Dada moments? <laughs> yeah, top ten favorite Dada <laughs> moments. So, what are you gonna say? I was just gonna say that, in a way, one of our previous <laughs> weeks was sort of incorporating the Dadaism theme. If you remember, we had Random Week, right? Uh huh. Where we kind of just didn't play by the rules. We just kind of did whatever we wanted, right? We didn't abide to any established art methods. Yeah. So how does randomness differ from Dadaism? Is there a difference? So, um, Mr. Zach, you're the rel- you're the uh, resident art historian, so I think you're the one who really should be answering this question for yourself. Ah, yes. Well, Dadaism kind of had a purpose to the randomness, right? It was purposefully being random to go against, as Mr. Stevens said earlier, the establishment. So instead of just being completely random, it was trying to serve kind of, like you said, a movement to shy away from playing by the rules so much. What do you think of that, Ms. Nicole? Is that semi-accurate? Yeah, I'd say so. It was a, uh, yeah, honestly, it was just, it was just born of a time um, when, in, in, I feel like it's pretty interesting because it does go kind of hand in hand with the, um, and this is whenever we talked about Frida Kahlo and her work in the, um, what was it, it's not like amateur, but in the, the time period now is totally escaping me, but it was basically the period of time where a lot of artists that were popular actually weren't classically trained. Mm. So you had people that weren't using, you know, just the most, I guess, advanced techniques, but they were still creating art that was widely, widely, widely appreciated. So this was kind of born of that in, you know, we had, or they had this time period dominated, especially like in the, um, 1800s and before that where there's a huge value on art that reflects life and reflects life accurately um you know (laughs) what is going on on the screen 
Oh my gosh. Okay. So, <laughs> it, it, I feel like this movement uh, in its core just really goes hand in hand with that. And uh, yeah, I mean, personally for me, I'm most enthralled by neo Dadaism because neo Dadaism is where uh, digital media really just comes into play. And it's a great playing ground for, um, you know, just kind of everything that we've done. You, you can kind of say that. And especially, like, if you look at internet memes and internet culture, like, there's a huge amount of that that borrows from uh, neo-Dadaism. Like, wh where would we be if we didn't have that kind of revival of that surrealist artwork that really just doesn't take itself seriously? Yeah, and I think a lot of that art uh, um, has definitely, like you said, have has had a resurgence. Mm -hmm. We see it in memes, you know, you get a classic meme and just it shows Frankfurt's face from, uh, or Frank Wad's face, what's his name? Farquad? Farquad's face, and then it <laughs> says <laughs> Frank Wad. <laughs> <laughs> and then it has the letter Lord E. Frank yeah. Um, you know, and it makes no sense, and I think that at the time when they were when those memes were created were against all the memes that were just kind of too relatable it, it really was and you know that's, so let's make something yeah. that's so unrelatable that it makes it, no, it makes sense. no sense and that's like that's an actually an amazing microcosm and kind of example for i mean like in the information age and, and kind of where how we're living with the internet like our the way that our art develops the way that our technology develops is at such like an increased speed so <laughs> if we were kind of creating this stuff and if we were set back without this rapid transfer of information, then, you know, our artistic periods would last a lot longer, right? Because it would take longer for different art styles to reach different places. But now if you can share memes, you can share images, you can share art all in a snap, then we are going to see a lot more of a sea change. So exactly like Mr. Steven was saying is that we had these memes, you know, top text, bottom text, image macros that were plain English, that were just saying, like, it's awkward when you tell your waiter to have a nice meal if they're not eating. And we kind of became fed up with that, right? We, we became fed up with this idea of, you know, of relating to an art piece or seeing art as just a reflection of the world as it is, but just through a very... Uh, you know, narrow lens, I guess. Uh, and then it did become this movement of how can I turn this JPEG into something that is completely unintelligible and make people laugh? I think that's an excellent point. Very well said, Miss Nicole. Very well said. And on that note, uh, I want to thank everyone uh, for continuing to stick Woo! with us because we got a long way to go. And on that note, I'd like to thank everyone um, for watching the stream. Wait, Mr. Steven, we still have 30 minutes left. Oh, all right. Well, on that note, I'd like to thank everyone for watching this moment. Because I just finished my first ever Dada work. Let's see it. And Walk I want to show it, everyone. Steven. So, I took two materials. I took not Monet's A Walk in the Garden, Mm -hmm. uh, a stroll through the field, whatever they want to call it. Um, boring. A little pointillism, you know, when uh, some pseudo-representation was definitely uh, well-respected. Well, you know what? You know what else is well-respected? Garfield. Garfield. And, and Friends. So, and Friends. So I took the classic hit 90s show, Garfield and Friends, <laughs> screenshots. And not I, Friends. Garfield, I, and I, Friends. Garfield and Friends. <laughs> and I put them on top of Not Monet is a Walk in the Boring Garden. And I've made it better. I've made it my own. And I removed all the color to show the real bleakness in meaning. What does it mean? Just Garfield and Friends. Thank you, everyone. And now I'm going to pass on the easel and let another artist in this group create some more Dada work. I can go because I want to hear Mr. Zach's thoughts on art history as I uh, do this. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Zach, you got to make room with your non moving chair. <sighs> wow. Mr. Steven, I feel like this is probably the the least uh, 
you know, nervous you've ever felt during an art piece. Well, it's funny because I didn't use that mouse once. Oh, really? Yeah, and there's a reason. Because I, I was going to say, you know, maybe this is just saying that your true calling is Dadaism. <laughs> Wait, do we really have to use a trackpad? Uh, I'm not looking for the dongle. What? Can you grab it out of that mouse over there? Oh, that, okay. I think I know why. Because they're all Who knows? It's, it's kind of dada for the mouse to lose <laughs> the trackpad. <laughs> Yo, you gonna make me dada? <laughs> oh my gosh. Memes. How do they work? Nice. Uh oh. Do we lose ourselves? Hello? Hello? Dada. Uh oh. Dada is. Hello? Uh... Goo goo gaga dada? Uh, um. Just uh. Unplug it and then plug it back in. Goo goo da da. Da da, -da is. <laughs> Alright, let's. Hello? Just unplug it. Go ahead and take it over to our da da cam. Hey, da da! Oh, oh. Whoa! Ta da da! Ta da da! Nice, Dadaism. Nice. All right, Whoa. Dada. <laughs> That's a nice background, Garfield and cool. Friends. It's really nice, Garfield and Friends. All right, guys, so here we are, and uh, we're once again in Photoshop, and I'm going to see what it is. Do you want me to save any of these? No, I already saved right. that one. So, one of my favorite uh, Neo Dada artists is uh, Namjoon Pyak, uh, Pike, I think is actually how you pronounce his last name. Mm -hmm. And he, is a Kore he was a Korean American uh, artist, and he was most well known for his work during the 80s and his exploration of, I guess, media as it relates to our traditional art. Or at the very least, media as it relates to, um, I guess physical art almost. So he would do these large installation pieces where he would utilize like tube TVs and really set up everything. It was really just like in in a lot of people's eyes, he's the founder of kind of digital media, right? Like he's the one who really got this whole thing started where you incorporate video, you incorporate music and you put it all together and you make something awesome with it. And it's still considered to be art. So Hmm. What I'm going to do is I want to do a little take on something that he does. Here, let's see. Ooh, yeah, I think I can definitely do this. So I'm going to use an asset that we used in a previous one where, a previous uh, episode. Nice. Shout out to our commenters. Uh, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying what we have so far. Yes. It's awesome. Thank you for watching. So, where is our chat? That's crazy. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pull from this here. And this was in our random week, as Mr. Zach was Random. Saying. Random. And, um, you may or may not have remembered that we were grabbing just a few different kind of... Uh, just placeholders here, and Mr. Zach had made this piece of artwork, which I thought was awesome. But wow. I'm going to borrow this TV here that I had grabbed, and we're going to do something really cool with it. So, I want to replicate some artwork that is really just, you know, I want it to be, I want it to be big, bright, bombastic, something that's going to catch your eye instantly. And Yeah, I, want, I need my eye cocked. My eye needs to be caught. Alright, nice, nice, nice. So, I am going to go ahead and start off here by, let's do a new this. And let's a new this. do a new this. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna do a web large because why not? Life's meaningless. All right, da da. <laughs> da da da. And I'm gonna unlock this layer, and all I want to do is I just want to grab my TV here, and I'm actually kind of gonna cut it because I just want this screen area. Radio and TV. And now we're gonna paste this, make it a little smaller, and here, and here is kind of what I'm gonna work with. You see him? I do. So one of um, Namjoon Pike's uh, work is, it's just like a, a series of TVs stacked all up on top of each other. So I'm gonna take this TV screen here and I'm basically just going to stack it on top of itself. And by that I'm just in Photoshop and I'm dragging Alt. Oh man, that's cool. It kind of looks like um, a really cool TV wall. Yeah. Yeah, or when you walk by an electronics store and there's a million TVs at once. A million? Yeah, probably at least a million. I Maybe two. don't know, unfortunately, what you're talking about, Mr. Zach. Um, you don't? I've actually never seen TV before in my entire life. Oh, well. Yeah, I thought you were anti establishment. Why are you watching TV? Ooh, call them out. Not very da-da of you. Radio goo goo. Radio da-da. Radio what's new. Da, da still loves you. All right, so here all I'm doing is I'm just moving these up a little bit because I want to get rid of that red on top because it's going to kind of skew how our image looks here, mm -hmm. and that's fine. And... For simplicity's sake, I'm going to merge these layers, and I'm just going to drag it. <gasps> That's know, a lot of right? TVs. Radio goo goo. And I am once again alt dragging, and now I have made my matrix of TVs. Oh my god. Are we in the matrix? Are we in the TV? <laughs> Alright, cool. Wow. I think I can fit one more in here. That's... It's Perfect. Ooh. Wowzers. Nice. That must be at least 1080p. So now I am once again going to merge my layers. And all right. Now, what kind of image should I slap in my in my tube televisions? What what speaks anti-establishment to you guys? What speaks uh, anti-establishment? Naruto. Naruto. Naruto is good you could do um um you know what i what like if you just yeah what? i like this idea all right so we grab naruto right oh okay i'm oh, sorry so we're gonna grab naruto because naruto's anti-establishment because he's the hokage which isn't establishment right uh -huh. um let's grab a good picture of naruto this one That's okay. Copy. And then Mr. Zach throws them out. Um, um, anti-establishment, eh? Just, yeah, just um, throw anything out. Um, anything. Um, a playground. Wow. Playground clip art. So we're going to grab this. Oh. There it is. Copy like our image. One. Yeah, but I think it's gonna be oh, yeah. kind of small. And then I'm gonna paste this guy. And uh, all I'm doing here is I'm, and as you guys can see on the screen, my keyboard shortcuts are popping up, the ones that I'm using. And wow. I'm gonna go ahead and resize Done. it. All right, <laughs> there it is. Let's there it is. Da, da. So Namjoon Pike's work is a great exploration of using really bright and you know, uh, I guess just very in your face kind of colors. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually up my brightness, I'm gonna up my contrast, and I really just wanna take this image and I wanna turn it into something really awesome. So I'm going to crank that saturation up. Whoa. You know, but actually, no, not too much because we're starting to see some artifacting there. Whereas since this image isn't a actual PNG, so the background is a transparent, uh, Photoshop is kind of adding in these colors where they shouldn't be. Um, oh, Photoshop. Where you can see it like right here, right? So that should actually be white. So if we lower that, they're going to get this. 
And then what I can do now is let me go ahead and take this white and delete it. I'm going to keep Naruto here in the background so that way wow. I can see where that white is and make sure it's deleted. Because I'm going to turn this into a somewhat neon inspired playground here. Are you excited? Yes. I am very excited, Miss Nicole. So it looks like when you changed the layer color, it affected Naruto as well. It did. And uh, I'm going to go in later and I'm going to fix that because I don't want Naruto to be this exact kind of color scheme. But, uh, but yeah, basically all you, you need to know is that what I had applied there was some adjustment layers. And the way adjustment layers work normally in Photoshop is that they're just layers that you apply over the entire art piece here. Oh, you don't say. But what you can go in later is that you can adjust it to where it, it'll only affect the layer that's directly underneath it or a layer that's in a group directly underneath it or however it is that you're going to work. So now I can see that this is all cut out. I want to go ahead and go into my layer effects and I want to add in an outer glow. And all this is going to do is Whoa. it is going to turn this into something kind of uh, trippy. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. So let's grab that. So I don't want this color to be like that. This is a, mostly like a blue, so let's grab some blue. And it looks like, oh, that's right. That's right. Show sense. I like that. The light, never normal. No, dang it. Okay, so since that is there, oh, okay, I found it. Nice. So what I'm having to do is since mm -hmm. since I have those layer adjustments on there, um, I want to go ahead and make it to where the color that I'm, I'm selecting isn't actually going to be that blue color that I'm looking for. It's going to be a different one, but with those layer styles added on, it'll adjust to where it'll look like that. You know, this is very da-da to me because it makes no sense. You're right. <laughs> Let's grab that, man. Let's add that in there. Freaking overlay. Let's let's soft light. Let's um pin light. Uh, vivid light. Da da. Don't, don't worry. It's gonna look. It's gonna look totally good. You mean um, it's gonna look totally da da. Da da. Sure. All right. So now we're gonna take this guy, and let's go ahead and do an inner glow too. And again, this is really just gonna try to make it look like it's glowing. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Nice, da da. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we have our glowing, ominous wow. playset, right? Yes. Yeah. That's so exactly what I wanted. Just to cool. Let's go ahead, and I'm gonna put this in a in a da da landscape. <laughs> All right, let's so see. The da scape, you could say. What's more da da than some? Oh wait, no, I want scan. Then scan lines on a TV. This is gonna look great. Showing Ooh, up. give me some vapor wave. Vapor wave. Vapor wave. Drippy. I mean, drippy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, da da. da. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. So now I'm gonna Whoa. go ahead and. That's tight though. Yeah, it is right. It's pretty cool. What if we got rid of? Whoa. Whoa! I don't what like that. What is going on? Isn't that the question of the hour, man? What? I don't know, dude. I wish I knew. So here what now, I'm gonna go back in, and I'm gonna have to change this. So when does Naruto come into play? Don't even worry <laughs> about it, dude. Naruto never left. All right, so now I'm gonna da da this real quick. Radio da da. Yo, wanna watch me da da? Now watch yeah. me da. Oh my god. Watch me da da. Watch me da da. How you do it? Alright. And now 
I am going to take my magic wand tool. I'm going to select this because this didn't get deleted. And I'm going to grab my eraser. Oh right, my god. Get it out. Control D. Erase it. Erased. Yo, all right. Whoa! Whoa. This is it, chief! Whoa. Yo! Well, so, wait, try some of the other ones again. What'd you say? Try some of those other ones again. Oh, wait. I did it on the wrong layer. Whoa! Oh, whoa. Ooh. Whoa, that one. No, 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 no. No, I like this one. Leave me alone. It's my art. Yeah, Zach, make your own Dada Boo. art. No, 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 no. Stop trying to be no, no, so no, established in it. I think, oh, actually, Zach. I think Mr. Zach is a plant from the industry. He is. He's trying to from make sure Dada we do industry. things the right <laughs> <laughs> He wants to do this the right, do this the right, right way. The you guys right, are really wrong close. Way. I am not a plant. However, I was trying to push the establishment to make sure you guys were being Dada now. What? You know, I did not understand one word you said, so you must be Dada. Dada! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and now I'm just going to go and darken this, and I'm going to kind of lower some of the contrast oh. here. Uh -huh. right, whenever I darken it, it'll look like that. Now, boom. And again, all I'm doing here is I'm just only applying it to the layer below. And yeah, now so we have where's that. where's art? <laughs> <laughs> so check it out. So what if we take our TVs, right? Because I just want yes. to give everyone a little little taster here. Yeah, a little taste of what's to come. Whoa. Right. So now it looks like it's in the TV. It's <laughs> in the TV. Yeah, just like Mr. Da Baby. <laughs> wow. From the, from da Baby, more like Da Da Baby. From um, what? <laughs> da Da. From dinosaurs. I'm the baby. Yeah, give it up for the baby. All right, that actually looks. Whoa. That's kind of. That's kind of cool. That's though. pretty cool. Yeah. All right, and now we have Naruto, who is known, who's, who's a known example of Neo Dada. <laughs> yes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the exact same thing, where I'm gonna take my background and you know what? I don't want it. Get out of here, background. Okie dokie. And for the sake of our viewership, I am going to select multiple layers here and I want to hide them just that way we have a plain white background um, but it looks like the swing set still persists fantastic okay great so let's get back over here to Naruto I'm gonna press W to get my wand tool and I want to up the tolerance to a hundred and instead of using my wand tool I'm gonna to use my quick select actually because that'll be easier for doing what I want to do here which is just quick selection, right? So the awesome part about this is that it works basically like a brush. So I can just click and drag along and it'll find something within where I'm clicking and dragging and it'll select. So now I'm going to use some pretty uh, ugly looking Photoshop brushes that like no, or Photoshop effects that like no one uses, right? So we're going to go ahead and take Until Naruto today. and we are going to convert him into a smart object. Naruto, as you may know, isn't exactly the most smart of all the objects, but Duh. we're going to make something great. So let's go over to our filter gallery and let's go ahead and, yo, you see, I want, I want one of these guys. Yo, glowing edges, let's go. Hello. Uh-oh. Google Dada. Maybe just try it again. Yeah, try unplugging it and then plugging it back in. Unplugging what? Naruto? The laptop. <laughs> what if we try to rosterize it? Maybe Actually, getting... I think that's it. Yeah, is that it's getting mad at me for... Yo! There we go! go. Alright, so... 
what if we, yeah, it's perfect. So I want my smoothness to be pretty far down here. And I want my brightness to be pretty bright. My edge width to be, ooh, yeah, nice. That way we can still see some of it. And then I am also going to, oh, wait, can you not do multiple? Oh, add. Cool. Yeah, two glowing edges. And now I'm also going to do a little bit of a diffuse glow. And I don't want any graininess on this. I want a glow amount of a lot. He's glowed up. And then we're also going to clear it and press OK. And now we wow. have Naru Dada. <laughs> and I'm going to go to Hue and Saturation. So that way I can adjust some of my colors for this guy right here. I'm going to colorize it, right? Naruto is known for being orange. So let's make him orange. And I am going to adjust my saturation, brighten it, brighten it, brighten it, and cool beans. Now I have this guy, and then I also have my swing set. How am I going to combine these two images, you may ask? No clue. All right. Yeah, how will you combine these two images, I'm going to so ask? So I'm going to just go ahead and merge these layers, because you know what? I know that's what I want it to look like. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with this, because I'm committing today. I'm committing not only to the bit, but also to everything. So, whoa. Whoa. Drippy. Getting crazy. So I'm adding in some cool layer styles here, and this is kind of what I was looking for, right? Is I want something that's going to take the black and really just get rid of it. So that way what we have here is we have Naruto with our cool glowing neon effect in the background. And then, Naruto, more like Naruto glow. Uh, all right, and now you know what? Let's 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 warp it, man. Warp it. Whoa. So I want it Whoa. to just kind of look like it's been like glitched out. It's all warped up. Nice. Now we have our TVs. This is hard to look at, and instead of doing that. <laughs> Radio Dada. This is good. Are you deleting the screens, Miss Nicole? Yes, I am. So that way we can just get our fun little TV texture here. And it won't be anything, you know, too crazy. It won't be anything revolutionary. Mm -hmm. But it will be cool enough for me. And I mean, I could even take these guys and I could move them up on top. Won't let me line it up because that's how we're gonna do it today. <laughs> All right, cool. And then here I can apply like a much kind of nicer texture, but while still keeping um, the hard outline of the TVs because that's kind of where I was getting lost there. And again, I'm gonna grab my quick select tool and just gonna kind of quickly select these guys right here, if I make it a little bit smaller, and then I'll get rid of my chance of having unfortunate bleed. And now we're just gonna grab this, we're gonna grab that, perfect. And I'm gonna do Control X to cut it, Control V to paste it. Gonna move this all the way over here. And then now it's this. <laughs> and then um, I'm just gonna line it up as best as I can. And I think we used a soft light for this one. And how does that look, guys? Wow. Wow. That's so impressive. But you might be saying... Oh, am I? Uh, oh, <laughs> am I saying <laughs> what happened here? Um, because it doesn't look like... I don't know. All no, right. you finish that sentence. It doesn't <laughs> look like what? <laughs> so now I'm going to create a layer mask over all of the things. <laughs> okay. Is it possible just to like kind of just put it over everything? Yeah, the everything has to be selected, merged. Ooh, okay. Can I put it in a group? Can I do a layer mask over a group? Yes, I can. I mean, yes. Yo, all right. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa, Whoa! radio wow. Dada. Yeah. That is super impressive. I almost lost the fact that I was looking at something I was supposed to recognize. I can. No, 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 it's perfect. This is literally perfect. Don't change anything. Why don't we go ahead and save that 
for the record books. Mm -hmm. So when we put it on our art show, we have some of the very cool show. Radio Dada. <laughs> I gotta stop. <clears throat> That is very cool, Miss Nicole. Thanks. Did we ever show examples of uh, that one artist's work? We never did. We never showed example of non of Nam Jun Pike's work. So I think it turned out looking very similar to his work. I think you did an excellent job of taking inspiration from the the TV works he's done. Definitely, Thanks. definitely. So Feels for the like viewers at home, oh sorry. No, go ahead. I was going to say, for the viewers at home, it might be uh, cool for them to see his work versus your work. Yeah, definitely. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab kind of an entry here from... Let me grab something that's not going to be super tough. I think this one might be good. Let's see here. Yeah, Smithsonian. So his work was featured in the Smithsonian. So just kind of pull this video up and look around. So again, yeah, he's just using these tube TVs. He's kind of just really made the colors pop super neon. And this is a little bit of what we were trying to replicate earlier, right? It's just this insane performance art, you know, playing music, but purposefully messing it up, adding your own strange spin to it. Here he's sitting very tongue in cheek, kind of pointing up at a, you know, a CCTV camera. And we're really just seeing the inclusion of just super bright lights, TV, just a, a mash of media. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. So yeah, and this was my final art. Amazing. Well, Zach, would you like to make some art here? Um, yes, you would. So yes. let's cut to our Dada cam yeah, to wrap Mr. everything art, off. Mr. Zach Art. Uh, Mr. Zach, this is all you. Wow, look at <laughs> the TV. <laughs> Hello, it is me, Nana Computer. Is it this one here? No. Oh, I, no, that's your... I think it's all the way back over there, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, guys, that was some great Dada art. Um, Y'all wanted me to make some art uh, in... Uh, this last minute here, uh, let's let's do it. Um, how am I doing this? Oh, and that's all the time. We have. <laughs> and that is all, all the, the time, time we, we have, have, everyone. One. Unfortunately. Oh uh, man, it stinks that oh. we had to get rid of Mr. Zach's da da art uh, performance, performance section. Yeah. Dang it. He had a whole thing planned. It was actually supposed to be an hour up. long. Yeah, I, I was. Drum. Yeah. Because he was he was gonna he was gonna play the piano with well, his feet. Maybe next time, Mr. Zach. Uh, but I would like to thank all our viewers at home who have been watching with us and hanging out with us uh, during these YAI live streams. Uh, we'd like to thank you. You are the real Dada. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we hope that you enjoyed our, our weird little kooky stream today where we just kind of dipped our toes in some different types of artwork that is reminiscent of the Dada and Neo-Dadaism periods. Um, and again, later this week, we'll be continuing to feature artwork from some great examples of artists. And um, chief among those is uh, Namjoon Pike. And uh, we're very excited to see yes. where the rest of this week takes us. Yes. Uh, and on that note, I'm Miss Nicole. I'm Mr. Zach. And I'm Dada. I'm Mr. Steve. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, bye. <laughs>